So I'm hanging out with Ingo from Prezi Taste. And Ingo, can you please give me just a little bit of backstory about who you are, what you do, and where you're from? Yeah, I'm uh, Ingo. I'm an electric engineer. Uh, I did my PhD in machine learning when I still needed to explain what that is. And already back then, we were working with the Cognitive Kitchen as one of the demonstrators. And uh, now we founded the company uh, 10 years ago, Prezi Taste. We found it out of a research group, mainly doing R&D projects lately. And then uh, this year, new, we have a standardized offering for small to mid-market brands, okay. and how they can apply AI in their kitchen management, how they can run kitchens digitally, and uh, really use all the modern technology available to help kitchen operations run more smoothly. How do you guys help with kitchen management? How does AI help kitchens? So when you're a new customer, we, we like to show what you can do with software products in your kitchen. Um, we, for instance, have entry-level modules like mm -hmm. the prep module. So you have a prep shift. You kind of need to decide, or your manager needs to decide ahead of time on how much they prep. We have a forecast for that that is helping you to have prep the right quantity. So they have a list, which is currently still done on clipboards. We now have that on softwares. So on the on the on the screen they get a list like okay this is what the AI thinks you how much you need to prep and you can review it you can adapt it but then when you say start it's translating that into a task board so anyone working in the kitchen Bob Jack and Mary they can see come in they have their name on there they see what what items they need to do they can just go in and say okay I bump this one yeah. I'm marinating chicken now or I bump this one and I'm cutting onions, so they're, you know, knowing how much they need to prep and when, uh, or how much to cook and when, and this way we're kind of managing digitally what's what's happening in the kitchen. The managers say, oh, people used to come to me, and um, you know, asking what they need to do, they just now go to the screen and see, you know, okay, I need to, to do that. It's adding easier also for the new guys. Yes, so it's adding. On day one, just this tool, we hear that they uh, that they, the manager saves an hour per store in terms of uh, in terms of work time. That is huge. So, what type of experience are you helping your partners create in their restaurants? So, you may know ChatGPT, and it's a lot I've of press around that. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the cool thing about our ChatGPT environment is, if you opt in, you can have all your operation data uploaded to the chat environment, and you can now next to the traditional reporting also ask this ChatGPT agent what you know questions about your forecast like how much am i going to sell or mm. what could i cook based on like introduce for a new limited time offering based mm -hmm. on the ingredients i have in stock so the creativity on how you can use that is basically limitless yeah it sounds limitless and once you have this platform we can even go deep and what we call the station assistant. Okay. So depending on which station you have in the kitchen, it could be the front of the line offering, or it could be the grill, it could be uh, the servicing area. We have assistants that co-work with you at this environment and understand more of what you're doing. One favorite example is if you are having a front of the house line and you're offering a burrito bowl or a pizza or whatever your um, Trading and you're talking to the customers, okay, which kind of items do you want to have? We have a camera that is sitting above and is understanding from what you're doing in, in terms of which items go in and also how much and how much is left. So if you're depleting through the chicken, uh, we know, for instance, from the forecast, the chicken should be at 70% fill level at 11.45 a.m. or you will run into grief at busy hour and you will run out. You just blew my mind. That is crazy. <laughs> and so we, we, we kind of advise automatically whoop, on, the, on, the, on the grill operator, hey, you need to drop five lines of chicken because you're going to run out else. So tell me, what would you say to a restaurant that was hesitant to dive into the AI revolution? People may think, oh, this is the topic of the future, right? Uh, well, you know, as we will see more of that in the future, mm -hmm. and we will see AI go everywhere, right? It's it's going to be a commodity like electricity. It's yeah. kind of what we expect it to be. Um, but it's 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 having tangible benefits right now that can they bring you in this environment where there are costs rising, 
food costs are rising, labor costs are rising. This is like an immediate tool to help that and really have a P&L impact. Yeah, and it's not just a band-aid, like it is truly a tool, like you're helping them solve all sorts of efficiency problems in, in their kitchens. So, I'm sold, all right? When will I see a return on my investment? Is it like immediate, weeks, months, years? So once you put in the digital platform, you already have um, like the low-hanging fruit returns on the, yeah. on, the, on the labor savings in terms of the management. And the more modules you can add and the longer you're part of the journey with us, uh, the more you can save, um, save on the ROI side. And what we also see is because our uh, products help that food can be served fresher, Mm. which translates into higher quality, yeah. which is the true success factor of any brand. Yeah. So if you have a positive experience at that brand, you will see sales growth. And we see significant sales growth. The best brand had at 1,000 locations a sales growth of 24% across in average on the, manage, on the SKUs we manage. Sounds pretty innovative, which is, I'm probably guessing it's a reason why you just won an innovation award? Yes, we won <laughs> the innovation award and that was like uh, the Oscar of the industry. Uh, That's so a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> we did hold it up like a cup uh, that we won in a sports championship award. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I'm very cognizant that this is a big honor to to have that here in NRA. We also were part of the of the keynote when Denny Meyer was mentioning us. And, uh, you know, um, that was a, a true honor to be so recognized in the industry. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like you're creating an amazing experience for your partners and that translates to the end users, the people that are guests in these restaurants. Um, so, Ingo, thank you so much for taking the time to hang, to hang out with me. I feel like I'm sitting in the presence of honor, especially <laughs> after your award. And uh, thank you, everybody out there, for joining Nation's Restaurant News and Prezi Taste at the National Restaurant Association.